Ismat, her life, her times. Preface. It gives me great pleasure to introduce Kata Academic Publishing Program with Ismat, her life, her times. The first series, Approaches to Literatures in Translation, hopes to bring together research into social, cultural, and the political and historical backgrounds to the various literatures. India has, as we know, many thousands of years of experience in translation. It is said that Kanchi University, in the early years of the 20th century, not only had translation as part of its program, but also numerous women scholars and students who seem to have been competent in many languages. Today, though, translation acquires a new meaning and urgency in India, as a gloriously multilingual and multicultural country is in the process of lapsing into monolingualism, and the culture of silence begins to pervade places of learning. Also, the coexistence of people from different cultures in a fast globalizing economy has brought the need to understand cultures quickly and well, and what more enjoyable way can there be than through fictions? Literature is enjoyable. It helps us understand ourselves or, quote, manage ourselves, as Peter Drucker would have it. And it can serve as a tool for translation of the self, of society. We need to restore to the story the primacy it has always had in India. This series is a small effort to help us understand our shared literary, literary traditions who we are, our aspirations, our dreams, language becomes interesting and identifiable because of various literatures. And literature acquires its very identity from the culture it brings to life. These books will bring together old and new thinking on translation, theory and practice, as well as present literatures in translation, to help readers to theorize for themselves. It hopes to look closely at text help students, scholars, and teachers across disciplines to engage deeply in our many literatures, so that we may give back to our fictions, our poetry, and our narratives their rightful place in the vast history and geography of Indian ideas and creativity in the phys physics of life that governs us today. I thank Krishna Sobtiji, Professor Satchidanandang, Professor Malashri Lal, and Dr. Sukrita Paul Kumar for their guidance, their ideas, and their spontaneous support. I also thank all the teachers and students, as well as my friends in Kata, for being with me on this exciting venture, for their faith in me, their support. February 2000, Gita Dharma Rajan.